In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cross tabulation table. Now, cross tabulation tables are for categorical variables such as ethnic group, gender, age groups, etc. Anything that you've defined as nominal or ordinal in SPSS. And essentially, that's anything that's grouped or has words attached. Anything that scales not appropriate for a cross tabulation table. Now, I'm going to use gender and satisfaction too. And for this variable, all I've done is just reduce my five point liquor scale to a three point liquor scale. And if you want to know how to do that, I have another video on how to transform or reduce the number of groups of a variable. So let's go ahead and make this cross tabulation table. If you go to analyze, descriptive statistics, and cross tabs. You have a row and a column variable. Now it doesn't really matter which row or column you put the variable in, but some statistics textbooks and some lecturers would prefer that your independent variable, say for example gender, goes in your row and your dependent variable goes in the column. So that would be my second satisfaction variable here. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now in our output file we can see our cross tabulation table and this is showing frequency. So how many males disagreed, how many males were undecided, how many agreed, and the same thing for female. On the right hand side is our total column, so there's 31 males and 37 females, and along the bottom are our totals for our satisfaction categories. Now let's go back to our cross tabs. And we have the option of adding a layer variable, so a third variable to the mix. Now what I want to look at is I want to look at ethnic groups. Now whichever variable you put on the layer is going to be your outermost variable. And sometimes it takes a bit of practice to get this right. So let's just put ethnic group there for now and click OK. And you can see my outermost variable is ethnicity. So for white Europeans, I'm now looking at the cross tabulation of gender and job satisfaction. Now, I find this a little bit messy looking because I've got so many categories along here and so few inside. So let's go back. So take that out and put that as my row. Take gender out and put that as my layer and go ahead and click OK. Now, I would prefer the look of this table because now I can see for males the cross tabulation of ethnicity and satisfaction and for females the same thing. Make sure you choose the table that in addition to being easy to read shows exactly what you're trying to emphasize. So here the comparison really is not between males and females. The comparison is between ethnic groups and between satisfaction categories. If the emphasis of my research was on the comparison of males females, I would probably need to look at this kind of table because now I've got male female inside here for an easy comparison. Now just so you can see the other options in a cross tab table, let's go to analyze, descriptives, and cross tabs. In the cells option, you can include expected counts. Now this would be useful if you're running a chi-squared test, and if you are doing that, please have a look at the video that I made about chi-squared because I go into a bit more detail about this expected count. You also have the option for row, column, and total percentages. And if you're interested in these percentages, please see my next video about interpreting percentages from a cross tabulation table. Go ahead and untick these for now. Click continue. And in the statistics tab, I have a few options for correlation statistics. So I've got chi-squared test, my fine Kramer's D, which would be an effect size, and I also have some other options for correlations and effect sizes to choose from. And again, if you're running a chi-square test, please do see my specific video about that. Click continue. And the last thing you may want to do is display clustered bar charts for your output. So if I tick that and click OK, I get the same table I did before, but now I've got a clustered bar chart showing that same information for males, and I have a separate clustered bar chart showing that information for females. Again, if you're looking for interpretation for percentages and cross-tab, please do have a look at that next video.